Hello Modern Shavers, it's Terry here. I just took a shower and I thought that I would take a couple of minutes just to introduce you to a couple of little uh, toys that I have here in my collection. The first is the Twinplex Safety Razor Blade Stropper. And the next thing is this little styptic I don't know, it looks like matchsticks, but it's a bunch of styptic sticks, basically. Uh, what's a styptic stick for you new shapers? It's a sterilizing pen that you would apply to your skin if you ever were to cut yourself. So it helps you stop bleeding, basically. Uh, I've been fortunate that I haven't had to use anything like this for quite some time because uh, I've managed to get my uh, regimen down to a T and it's very rarely that I cut myself unless someone distracts me um, so going back to this what I wanted to do is just show you what it looked like this is really old I don't know where it, oh here it is can you see that I'm just using my iPhone to film this right now I was setting up my camera and then I thought, oh hell, I'll just use my iPhone. That'll be a lot easier. Anyhow, this came from California. It was 10 cents back in the day. And there's 32 so-called matchsticks. And they actually look like matchsticks. And what you would do is you would break one off, wet it, and then apply it to your cut. Pretty neat. Now you can buy a styptic stick from a pharmacy for about two or three bucks now. Um, a lot of the wet shavers are using these guys now. R Razzle Rock. Um, I don't use it much. You basically would apply it to your wet skin and it would stop the bleeding. It stings a little bit just like any styptic stick. Uh, for the most part it works it's probably better just to practice proper technique so then you don't have to use it so let's go on to this guy the twin plex dropper now this was made in Chicago it's the model G200 and it says here that it drops your blade so out of the box this is what it looks like And that's what's inside the box. It's really hard to get it out. Anyhow, I'll leave that in there. I've personally never used it before. But it's in really, 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 really good condition. Like it's probably never been used before. Let me snap it back in. There, that's what it looks like. So what you do is you just, actually you don't even need to pop it off. I just wanted to pop it off so that I could show you. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's got a couple of rollers. And when you turn it, these are coated with leather, these two rollers here. So as you turn it, your blade also turns 180 degrees as you can see there. And it strops each side of the blade. So let's give this thing a try. We pull this out. Oh, it needs to go to a certain position in order to, there we go. So the handle needs to be in this, the handle needs to be in this little hole here. And then it allows you to pull it out. So I'm gonna take this blade out of my rocket, Gillette rocket razor here. You know it's a rocket because it's solid here. And this Gillette razor was only available in the UK, as far as I know. You couldn't find it here in Canada, or it wasn't sold here in Canada, or in the United States. So if you can find one of these rockets with a solid base, they are actually a little bit heavier than the standard super speeds, uh, definitely pick it up. 
mine's in really really good condition so I decided not to sell this I I'm gonna keep this till I die maybe you can give it to my son or grandkids or whatever um, it's super smooth it doesn't even squeak when it opens up and if you look inside there it's got a solid platform here the super speeds have a I believe they have a hollowed out groove on either side of this this spine here as well so we're gonna put this Bolzano in I believe I could need to put it upside down there's a little bump there or two bumps rather and that's where your blade needs to fit there we go Close that up and I should be able to stick this in here. I'm going to try to spin this and show you. So as you can see every time I Every time I turn around, it spins that blade for me. Sorry, I'm not getting enough height there. How about that? There. So you're able to strop both sides of the safety razor blade. And I, you only need to do it four or five times, I believe. And once again, it's locked until you get it back into this position here. So it doesn't want to come out. There we go. you can't tell whether it's dropped or not and I won't tell until I shape with it but it's a new blade anyway so now if you don't have a fancy device like this you could strop this on a piece of leather so if this was a piece of leather you would just put it flush against flush not flush flush against your strop and just run it along the strop turn around Go that way. Just gonna do that three or four times. Turn it over. Do the same thing. Being careful that you're not leading with the edge, otherwise you will nick your strop. Another thing you can do, and this isn't gonna cost you anything, is to make sure your hand is clean and just strop it on the palm of your hand. Turn it over. And that's what you call hand stropping. And why does this work? Because our hand is essentially a piece of leather, if you think about it. Leather is just animal hide without the fur, right? So using your hand to strop makes sense. And a lot of guys will do that, just to clean it up. So that's about all I have to show you today. Just a quick video, nothing super interesting. If you have any questions or if you have anything you'd like to see, please put them in the comments below. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Take care.